Let's break down how to unlock IAM audits like a pro. First, what makes IAM so important? At its core, IAM is about ensuring that only the right people have the right access to the right resources at exactly the right time. It's the gatekeeper of your organization's digital assets. Think about it. If someone has access they shouldn't or keeps access after their role changes, your organization is exposed. IAM is about precision, making sure permissions are granted and revoked with care, and that no one is left with lingering access that could be exploited. Did you know that most data breaches start with access slipping through the cracks? A single overlooked account or excessive privilege can be all it takes for attackers to get in. That's why IAM is often the first line of defense, and the first place auditors should look. To really understand IAM, you need to know its life cycle. Joiner, mover, lever. This framework helps you track how access is granted, changed, and removed as people come and go within your organization. For joiners, the question is simple. Are new users only getting access after proper approval? Every new hire should go through a documented process with clear sign-offs from both their manager and the owner of the role or system they'll be using. This prevents unauthorized access from day one. Movers are trickier. When someone changes roles, you need to watch for segregation of duties conflicts. For example, you never want one person to both create and approve payments or to have unchecked power over sensitive processes. Auditors should always check for these risky combinations and ensure controls are in place to prevent fraud or error. And for levers, timing is everything. The moment someone exits, whether they resign, retire, or are terminated, their access must be removed immediately. Delays can leave your systems vulnerable to disgruntled ex-employees or accidental misuse. Auditors should verify that exit processes are prompt and thorough. Here's a practical way to test your IAM controls. Start by grabbing a list of all new users added in the last quarter. This list is your audit sample. For each user, check if their access was properly signed off, not just by their direct manager, but also by the owner of the system or role. Dual approval is key to preventing unauthorized access and ensuring accountability. Next, sample a batch of these records. Are there any users who slipped through without the right approvals? If so, that's a red flag. Document these exceptions and follow up to understand how they happened and how to prevent them in the future. Don't forget about privileged access, admin IDs, super users, and system accounts. These are the keys to the kingdom, and if misused, they can cause massive damage. Auditors should always pay special attention to who has elevated privileges and how those privileges are managed. Make sure every action taken by a super user is logged, monitored, and regularly reviewed. Look for unusual activity, such as access outside business hours or changes to critical systems. These logs are your evidence trail in case something goes wrong. Regular access reviews are essential. Schedule periodic reviews, where managers and system owners verify that everyone with access still needs it. Remove or adjust permissions for anyone whose role has changed or who no longer requires access. Don't let forgotten accounts pile up like digital clutter. Old, unused accounts are a favorite target for attackers. Review, certify, and clean up your user lists to keep your environment secure and compliant. Always insist on system-generated evidence. Don't just take someone's word for it. Test both the design and the effectiveness of your controls. If a process looks good on paper but fails in practice, your organization is still at risk.